Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Writer-director James Gunn has shared Sean Gunn's first screen test as Whistle for the Suicide Squad. Sean Gunn also plays Kraglin and does the motion capture for Rocket Raccoon in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In the Suicide Squad, the actor followed his brother into the DC Extended Universe to play the Bell Ribbon Mate Calendar Man and do the motion capture for Whistle, a strange, anthropomorphic creature who is harmless, despite having killed 27 children. Naturally, Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, assumes assumes he is a werewolf. Gon's R-rated follow-up to 2016's Suicide Squad introduces more than a few obscure DC characters to the big screen. Task Force X's new members include Peacemaker, John Cena, Bloodsport, Idris Elba, King Shark, Sylvester Stallone, Ratcatcher 2, Daniela Melchior, Polka Dot Man, David Dastmalchian, T. D. K. Nathan Fillion, Javelin, Flula Borg, and, of course, Whistle. Many of the team's new members don't make it past the film's title card, however, as Colonel Rick Flagg, Joel Kinnaman, his team is massacred at the beginning of the film. Despite appearing to perish immediately due to an inability to swim, Whistle has become of the Suicide Squad's most talked about characters. Gone recently shared a video on Twitter of Sean Gone screen testing as Whistle for the Suicide Squad. Given the character's odd mannerisms in the film, the footage is most likely as bizarre and entertaining as audiences would hope. The clip shows Sean Gunn dressed in a motion capture suit, moving his body in a whistle-like fashion and making the character's distinctive shrieking sound. James Gunn then briefly appears in the video to direct his brother so the production team can get the character's hero shot, while the pair, and plenty of the crew, laugh throughout the bizarre scene. Check it out below. Click here to view the original post clearly, Gon's process for creating Whistle is very different to how he brought Rocket to life. While the latter performance was more for reference, Whistle entails fully-fledged motion capture, which takes all of the actor's movements into consideration. Writer, director Gon has made it clear that Whistle is a character separate from his comic book counterpart. In the comics, Whistle is often depicted as a serial killer who dresses up in a furry Whistle suit and orange leotard. Gunn's Whistle is a feral creature inspired by Bloom County's Bill the Cat. While Whistle is presumed dead at the beginning of the Suicide Squad, its hilarious post credit scene showed that they survived nearly drowning before running off into the jungle. The film's mid credit screen set up HBO Max's Peacemaker spin-off series, which could feature cameos from other members of Task Force X aside from its eponymous Patriot. Gunn has confirmed that there are other DC projects in the works, and it seems very likely that fans will see more of Whistle in the future. Source, James Gunn, Twitter.